Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mike B with Bombero Bus VW. And today I'm gonna see if I can put this shifter into that bug. So let's get to it. And that means I have to hope that I don't learn the old lesson of if it's not broke, don't fix it. So here I am about to pull a perfect shifter <laughs> to put that scat one on there. But you know, when this is your love and your hobby, then you know, you try things, so. Let's get that scat, let's get this one off and see if the scat one's gonna fit it. Okay, that is done and now is a perfect chance to show you this, this bug is a 1965 and if you have earlier than a 1968, your socket right here is gonna have this little groove in it. So what that should mean for me is that this new, this scat shifter is gonna work because this ball is still gonna drop in that socket. It doesn't have a dowel pin, so it doesn't need the groove, but it's not gonna be backwards compatible. If you tried to put this earlier shifter into a newer socket, uh, it's not gonna go because this dowel is not gonna have a groove to fit into, so it's not backwards compatible, but I think that this scat shifter is gonna be able to work on the pre-68 style uh, socket but there's only one way to find out so let's go drop this in and see if it's going to fit now before i stand it up there i wanted to take a moment to show you that this lockout reverse lockout plate shouldn't be needed anymore this should just go on there like that the little ball fit in the groove and just like that that should work now before i mount that down i'm gonna do some work here on the spring because the reason i don't need that lockout plate is this is how it works when you raise this up that lets you clear the reverse and come over and get into it so i'll show you that and pull this off and we'll look closer at that so to see that we have to look right in right there do you see that little pin right there where this pencil is now watch what it does when i want to go into reverse it's limited by a stop wall but watch what happens when i pull up on this t-handle it raises it above that lip so now look how far it can swing over so that's why we don't need the OG lockout plate on there. From what I just showed you, you can tell that this spring here has a lot to do with this handle returning to its normal position. And that spring is shot. So let me show you what I got for it. Well, it looks like I'm gonna finally get to use this uh, special spring that I bought. There's only one place in the world that makes these, and it's a small mountain village in Sweden, but basically it's pretty expensive, but I was glad I had it. So let me get this cut to size, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. And there you go. It was hard to cut because that steel made in Sweden is pretty tough, but I got it on there. It's going to assist now with the, this handle returning to its position, and look, if it works, I'll tighten that up there's supposed to be a i'll probably put some kind of cover over this something more aesthetic but for now let's just see if it works so it's time to finally put it on there and find out okay it is bolted on and it seems to be finding first second neutral third and fourth third neutral first Second, neutral, third, fourth. Now let's try reverse. Can't get over there now. Pull up on the handle. Let's me over into reverse. Out of reverse, back into neutral. So, man, it seems to be working. And I'm going to take it for a test run and we'll talk about it some more. Wow, that's all I can say. I just got back from a test drive with this and it is insane. The, the, sh the throw is so short that this is 
a performance enhancement in what it is. I had to learn to redrive the car and, and it was in an insane improvement. So I don't know what particular scat shifter this is, if this is the drag racing one or whatever. This was given to me in a box of parts from my buddy Corey at the shop worldwide. He had them and he has so many projects going on. He just got rid of the VW stuff he had, but you should, if you like more than VWs, check him out, the shop worldwide. Corey, thanks for this hookup because this thing is insane. So stick with me. What I'm going to do is I think I have some recent footage of me shifting with the old shifter. And then when I get someone here who can record while I'm driving, I'll show you the difference this shifter made. This is not something I probably would have gone out and bought. The universe gave it to me. And it's just one of those things you you find out by accident. Now I don't think I could go without it. Let me quit rambling about it and let's try to get some footage up on the difference this scat shifter made. Okay, that was all I had with the old shifter. That footage you just saw was with the old shifter, and I don't know if you could see my hands, but the throw was real long, and basically my hands went way up here. In fact, I learned to drive it with some extended fingertips when I went into third, and then just pull it back to me. Uh, so with this, I don't have to do that. Now let's get some footage of using this and see if we can tell a difference. I'll venture to say this, if you can't tell a difference on the video, it's just one of those things you have to feel for yourself because I've already driven the car and I promise you it's a significant difference. And even if the shifts sound the same to you, well, you have to realize I've been driving the old school shifter for a while and know how to shift it. It took work though. This is effortless. So this is still a little bit quicker and it's just a bump effortless bump versus the no, the know-how that it takes with the longer shifter. So let's get that video up now and see what you guys hear. shifts weren't perfectly timed by me because like I said I was just second time driving it but they'll get better you could tell the difference and the first one my whole arm it was a whole arm throw this I'm gonna have to get used to it's literally just a wrist bump well there you go the conclusion on that is that I love it got it on accident and wish I wouldn't have gone so long without it so I'm going to run it now and I'll take it back off. I'm going to, you know, clean it up a little bit and paint it. But it's safe to say that I am in love with that shifter. But it's also safe to say that I don't trust it. Therefore, Old Reliable goes into the parts bin in the trunk here and add it to the things that get me home if I need it. That's how it is when you dub daily. So thanks for checking it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if it helped you. If not, leave a comment. Let me know what's up and we'll see you on the next one.